Ready? Yeah. Well, how, what do you think the news people are like? You know, this is this is how they work. <laughs> this We're is. We're gonna have to get one of those things that you put them in. Yeah. yeah All right, and action. Hey everybody, this is Blog and Brandy. I've been going to Vegas for over two decades. That's two, four, okay. Two decades. And I love telling everybody about some of the fun stuff that I find in Vegas because I get a ton of questions about how, how do you not spend so much money and where are the fun places to go. So I figured I wrote six tips and I wanted to share them with you about how do I go to Vegas on a budget and get the best food at the best prices, see some of the coolest shows and do some of the funnest things um, that I get to bring and share with you all the time. So my first tip for going to Vegas is to make sure that you only gamble at the local casinos. Normally they're off the strip. There's tons of them around. So I've got a couple of them in my guide which you can download below. The minimums are better. The dealers are so much more fun, and they usually have some really awesome food specials. So stick to the local casinos. You're going to get a little bit less glitz and glamour, but you're going to have a much funner time. You're probably going to win something and get a better payout, or if you're losing, you're at least going to have fun while you're losing. Tip number two for going to Vegas, uh, never pay for drinks in Vegas. That means even if you're paying for alcohol, it's all free and it's all included from the cocktail waitresses whenever you're gambling. As long as you're gambling, whether it's at the tables or at a slot machine, you're going to get service for drinks. You can get coffee, you can get wine, you can get water. My favorite is sparkling water. Speaking to anything but mixed drinks because you don't know who's making them. So make sure and stick to wine, beer, coffee, water, um, or you can get straight shots if you really want to go that route. At the cocktail waitresses, Tip number three for doing Vegas on a budget is if you want to get a five star meal for a $5 price tag, make sure and check out the happy hour specials at the restaurants. I'm including some of my favorite ones in my guide down below. Tip number four for doing Vegas on a budget is to make sure and always sign up for the comps and players clubs at any of the casinos that you go. Even if you're only gambling for a little while, they take into consideration how much you're gambling and the time that you're gambling, but you get all kinds of free stuff from hotel stays to free money to play with, and I've even gotten plane trips for them to fly me out there, transportation. If there's an event or attraction at that hotel, you can always score those tickets free too. So just for signing up, you can score all kinds of free swag. Tip number five for doing Vegas on a budget is never pay full price for event or attraction tickets. There's tons of discounts that you can go from Groupon. Venues out there will offer if it's close to the date, either the same day or maybe 60, 30 days out, you can get the tickets for half price. There's locals that'll go out and actually purchase the tickets and they offer some of them online. I'd also check out the casino comps and players clubs because if it's offered at the casino or a property of the casino, you could actually score some tickets maybe free off your players club points for what you've actually gambled at the property or you could score them at a really discounted rate. Um, you're already paying to play there so you might as well get something back for it. Okay, my last tip, number six, for doing Vegas on a budget, you always stick to either some of the public transportation or walking when you're in Vegas. I never take the taxi cabs. I've made this mistake and they charge you per rider. Uh, I don't usually take a lot of taxi cabs, but to me, I'm not going to pay per rider. If you have four people, it adds up. Uber or Lyft, I've taken Uber. It's a great experience. They also have Uber X. Some of the hotels that you stay at will offer shuttle services. So you can choose between shuttle services, Uber, Lyft. Uh, you can always walk. Uh, but I would stay away from the taxi cabs and also make sure when you're taking these transportations, um, there's some public ones, there's some private ones, but always if you're doing a one-off, make sure and tell them you don't want to take the scenic route because that puts you on the main strip where all the glitz and glamour is, where all the traffic is, and what else does it do? It adds to your time. So if you tell them, hey, I don't want to be on the scenic route, just get me there the fastest way, they're going to take you on the highway or one of the back streets, and trust me, you're in Vegas. There's not going to be anything that you're missing. There's always something fun and maybe crazy 
going on in the side streets of Vegas thing, but just stick to that. You're going to save some money and you're going to get to your destination as fast as possible. So don't forget to download my free guide to how to do Vegas on a budget. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, share them on social media. You can find me anywhere at Blog and Brandy and join my email list, which I'm including a link to below.